Tiger, Lion, Jaguar. These are the animals that we know can hurt us in a pretty bad way, but at least you can see them coming. However, there are a few little ones which you will never see coming, but the impact can leave you struggling for life. Here are 10 of the smallest animals that can hurt you. Deathstalker Scorpion Also known as Palestine Yellow Scorpion, this little devil is just 2.3 inches in length and can fit anywhere, even in your shoe or jacket. So if you feel a sudden bite in your hand, don't ignore it thinking it to be a mosquito bite. Deathstalker produces around six kinds of deadly neurotoxins, so a single bite from this one can give you one hell of a painful ride. Adults can, however, survive this, but chances are minimal for children. The bite causes life-threatening allergic reactions, medically known as anaphylaxis. Any death incidents recorded is due to pulmonary edema. The majority are found in the deserts of the Sahara and Arabia. Despite the bad, here are a few good uses of the venom. The venom of the Deathstalker scorpion has a component chlorotoxin, which is obviously a neurotoxin, but has the potential to treat brain tumors if processed and used properly. A few other components of venom has the ability to regulate the insulin production in the body also. Blue Ringed Octopus Found mostly in the coral reefs and lagoons around the Pacific and the Indian Ocean, this little octopod has the potential to kill 25 individuals in just a single bite. Most of the species are just 5 to 8 inches in size. The most dramatic feature of this animal is that they contain blue-colored rings on their yellowish body. When threatened, it becomes dark brown and the blue color gets iridescent. Their venom contains tetrodotoxin, which is lethal in every sense. It is about 1,200 times more toxic than cyanide. They bite with their extensively strong beaks, which can easily penetrate scuba wetsuits and deliver a good dose of venom. Surprisingly, the bites are painless, but it just takes a few minutes to kick the paralysis in along with respiratory troubles. Treatment of the venom is not yet discovered. Cone Snail Snails are not known to be deadly and agile enough to kill a human. However, cone snails are a category of snail that can easily hurt you. The ones that are deadly to humans are the larger ones. Mollusks have radula in their mouth, which act as teeth, but the cone snails have modified their radula to hypodermic needles present at the end of the proboscis. The needle is loaded with venom from the venom bulb. The venoms are together called conotoxin. One species of cone, called a cigarette cone, is named because the victim gets just enough time to smoke a cigarette before dying. The victim experiences extensive pain in the region of contact with swelling. Irrespective of the deadly attributes, a few cones do produce pain relievers. Zyconotide is a pain relieving compound which is 1,000 times more powerful than morphine. Tarantula Hawk Does the name suggest anything? No, it's not the spider, but it's the wasp that hunts spiders. Tarantula hawks are especially known to hunt tarantulas. These are the owners of a very special kind of sting which is considered to be the most painful one. After the sting, the pain lasts for about 5 minutes only, but the momentary pain is comparable to nothing and the victim fails to do anything, i.e. they simply shut down as you simply can't tolerate this pain. They are found in all the major continents on this planet. It's very good to hear that these wasps hunt tarantulas only. After knocking them out, the wasp brings it to its den, where after laying eggs, it is completely gobbled by the larva. Lanomia caterpillar As beautiful as it may look, stay away from it. It is the larval form of the giant silkworm moth, especially found in South American countries and just two inches in length. Well, it's big enough. Their whole body is covered with urticating bristles that are ready to inject lethal venom to the victim. They come in a variety of colors ranging from shades of brown to green. The venom of this caterpillar causes disseminated intravascular coagulation, which ultimately leads to hemorrhagic syndromes. The base of the spine contains a venomous bulb which, when triggered, sends a pool of venom rushing through the hollow spines. The venom contains potent anti-clotting agents which bind to proteins in cells and cause them to leak blood, ultimately causing internal bleeding. As the dosage is very low, so the ultimate effects are not seen, 
an adult human needs to be stung 20 to 80 times to see the maximum effects. Puffer fish. A celebrity fish to be said, and you have probably seen it in the movie Finding Nemo. Also known as the porcupine fish, there are hundreds of this species, but only a few hold the title of one of the most poisonous vertebrates in both the hemispheres. As the name suggests, it can blow itself up to a spherical shape completely. They possess a highly elastic stomach which gets filled with water until the whole fish becomes round or with air when not in water. The poisonous variety of these fish produce tetrodotoxin, which is also found in blue-ringed octopus, causing paralysis and respiratory troubles. It is also found in almost all the body parts of the fish, with a dose high enough to kill an adult human. Some of them are not poisonous and is a treat to the tongue in North American states, known as fugu fish. Irukandji jellyfish It is a species of box jellyfish that's only one cubic centimeter in volume. They are one of the smallest and most poisonous jellyfish in the world. As the name suggests, they are found near the Irukandji range of Australia's eastern coast. The head of the jellyfish is just about 5 mm to 25 mm in length, but the tentacles are up to 1 meter in length. There is a total of four tentacles, each of which is armed with nematocysts, or stinging cells. But one peculiarity of this species is that they have those stinging cells in their bells too. The venom of this guy causes Irokanji syndrome, which is a combination of muscle cramps, back pain in spine and kidney, with other features such as sweating and vomiting. The venom is 100 times more potent than that of a king cobra. The venom also contains levels of catecholamines, which is a monoamine and is responsible for increased heart rate and blood pressure. Poison Dart Frog There are a great variety of these tree frogs, but the one that needs a bit more of spotlight is the Golden Poison Arrow Frog. Found mostly in Southern American countries adjacent to Colombia, the adults can reach a size of about 5 centimeters only. Significantly, they do not possess the colored rings on their body, unlike other kinds of dendrobatids. The body of these organisms is coated with alkaloid toxin, which is a component of batrachotoxin and is a neurotoxin. A simple graze on its body is well enough to transfer the venom. The venom blocks the conduction in the nerve tissues and thus the failure of muscles to contract, leading to an inactive state of contraction. Heart failure or fibrillation is the ultimatum. The name poison dart comes as the frog is used by the native people to hunt. The skin produces small exudates of the poison when burned, which is then soaked by arrow tips and darts. Their lethality stays for two long years. Asian Giant Hornet For a hornet to be of this size, you might think it's on steroids. But beware of making fun of it. It is a hornet with a 2-inch long and 3-inch wide wingspan, which produces venom along with an enzyme that can cause tissues to melt. Majorly found in Japan, this little guy holds the record to kill humans more than any other animals on the island of Japan. Peculiarly, they attack honeybees and a single member of this species is equivalent to 40 European honeybees able to take them down in just one minute. If you have any chance to encounter this one, you have probably no chance of running away as they can fly at a speed of almost 35 to 40 kilometers per hour. Death from stinging is caused by anaphylactic shock and cardiac arrest. In some rare cases, multiple organ failure is also noticed. Stonefish It is one of the most venomous fish in the marine world. Found mainly in the Indian Ocean coast and Pacific coast, the color of the body is gray and mottled, similar to that of a stone. And it's really impossible to distinguish between them in the water. So inadvertently stepping on them might be the biggest mistake. The dorsal fin rays carry the venom and can puncture rubber soles of shoes easily. The venom is mostly neurotoxin called verrucotoxin, secreted from the glands present at the base. The symptoms are similar to other neurotoxins, such as paralysis, respiratory disorders, and cardiac arrest. They are known to block the calcium channels in the muscle, leading to spasms. <laughs>